Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Good afternoon, this is Dr. Pradhan here. Welcome to NPTEL project on econometric modeling. So, today we will discuss simultaneous equation modeling. So, in the last couple of lectures, we have discussed various aspects of modeling that to univariate modeling, bivariate modeling, multivariate modeling, and various issues related to econometric modeling like multicollinearity, heteroscedacity, autocorrelation, uh, then we have also discussed uh, the structure of penal data modeling that is very interesting that to you know uh, fixed effect model, random effect model and pool data model. So, uh, anyway there are uh, one, uh, one uh, structure of econometric modeling till uh, whatever we have discussed till now. So, uh, the fundamental issues till today is, a, uh, is with respect to single equation modeling. So, today we will discuss the issue called as a simultaneous equation modeling. So, uh, before we proceed the structure of simultaneous equation modeling, I like to be briefly highlight what is the exact difference between a, a single equation modeling and you know simultaneous equation modeling. First, first of all, what is all about the simultaneous equation modeling? Simultaneous equation means it is a uh, you know structure of joint dependence of variables or joint dependence of equations. Uh, there are many ways we can represent. A de system describes joint dependence of variable is called as a simultaneous equation modeling. A system describes joint dependence of variable is called as a simultaneous equation modeling. Okay. So, simultaneous equation means a, you know it is a system. Okay. So, first of all it is a system describes the joint dependence of variable, joint dependence of variable. Okay. So, system consists of uh, uh, joint dependence, dependence of variables. So, uh, what is this exactly structure is a called as a joint dependence of variable. That means, before we proceed to joint dependence of variables, let us first know what is all about this single equation modeling. So, then we will move to simultaneous equation modeling. So, whatever we have discussed, you know, uh, in the regression modeling, particularly in the regression modeling, so we, we entirely or we can classify into two different agenda one is called as a single equation modeling and second one is called as a, a structural structural equation or simultaneous equation modeling simultaneous <coughs> simultaneous equation modeling okay so this is this is you know uh, either you can call it structural equation modeling or stru uh, simultaneous equation modeling. So, they are more or less same, but uh, there is a little bit difference. So, uh, we will discuss the structural equation modeling in details in a separate lecture. So, today we will specifically highlight the simultaneous equation systems. So, uh, let me first uh, highlight the agenda of single equation methods and then we will go to simultaneous equation methods I means single equation modeling then versus simultaneous equation modeling. So, one oh, oh, in one case it is the a single equation and in the case of simultaneous equation means it is the multiple equation situations. So, that means when you generally oh, till today what we have discussed there is a problem. So, we have to transport the entire problem into mathematical form of the model then you will bring into the statistical form of the model then you have to go for collection of data then estimation reliability checking so many you know uh, fundamental issues related to that uh, estimated model then we, you use this model so we can call this model as the best fitted model and that model can be used for forecasting or policy use 
but uh, uh, whatever concepts we have discussed till now. So, it is just single equation we can describe the entire situation. For instance, uh, here in this particular problem, so we have taken uh, BAC a, a IIP industrial uh, index of uh, industrial index of productions, money supply, wholesale price index. And then uh, exchange rate. So, we have discussed this particular problem in the case of various uh, uh, topics like you know multicollinity issue and even if autocorrelation is everywhere you can start this problem. But you know uh, here uh, one uh, the, this particular system is a five variable case and uh, uh, what uh, what is exactly the single equation mo uh, modeling is that. So, keeping one variable uh, uh, at a times then rest of variable will be in the independent structure. For instance, I can write like this way BSC as a function of IIP money supply, then wholesale price index, then exchange rate. Okay. Similarly, I can also write equation like you know function of uh, IIP index of industrial productions, then BSC, then wholesale price index, then exchange rate. Okay. Similarly, I can write for WPI and similarly I can uh, write for you can say uh, exchange rate means I, I, I will assume that all these variables are uh, it can be fitted into a models. For instance, once my uh, issue is regarding a prediction or forecasting of inflation then I will, uh, I will assume that uh, uh, you know WPI as a function of rest of the other variables like you know uh, Bombay stock exchange, industry, index of industrial production, money supply and exchange rate. Similarly, suppose my objective is to uh, you know forecast the economic growth then uh, IIP is a function of VAC money supply wholesale price index and exchange rate. Similarly, if I have a problem that exchange rate determination then exchange rate as a function of stock price, uh, economic growth, money supply, wholesale price like many ways we have to uh, represent the situation. So, now whatever uh, your objective uh, may, whatever may be your objective. So, you you have to assume that there is a dependent variable cluster and there is an independent variable cluster. Then we have to fit the model, uh, then as usual you have to proceed for estimation, there is reliable checking and it is a uh, usefulness. So, now, so we briefly highlight the uh, detailed setup of single equation modeling and how we will go to or how we will uh, enter into the simultaneous equation modeling. Because in a, a real world situations, uh, uh, there are certain uh, there are variables which are more or less interdependent in nature. It is very difficult to find out a situation a single variable which is uh, in, a, in a means which is uh, which can be influenced by only several independent factor variables. So, that same independent variable can be as a again uh, can be considered as a also dependent variable. So, there are many ways it can be a analyze or you can say propose, but uh, uh, how uh, means what is the uh, speciality of the single equation modeling and how we, we have to converge in means uh, we, we have to integrate with the simultaneous equation modeling. So, let me highlight what is the single equation modeling system. So, first <coughs> this is first single equation modeling then we will go to simultaneous equation modeling. Single equation modeling, so in the single equation modeling, so what is the structures? So, a structure is a, uh, in every case there is a one dependent, one dependent. So, say x then several, uh, several or you can say single independent variables, okay. independent variables. So, there is a single or several independent variables. So, now single equation modeling, so in the single equation modeling your setup is a means it is very much in, uh, interesting with respect to the vari uh, variable classification that to dependent classification and independent classification. So, uh, whatever may be the situation, so for the single equation modeling is concerned, there is a one variable which is called as a dependent variable and uh, the uh, rest of the variables either it is one or multiple, it is uh, 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 they are in the independent clusters. So, that means every time there is one dependent variable with one or multiple independent variable. So, that means, if one dependent variable, so it is one dependent variable, which means we can call it y here, then we will call it is x here. Okay. So, suppose the cluster is 1 1 1 1, then obviously it is y you can say alpha plus or beta 0, 
plus beta 1 x 1 okay, plus u. Okay. Suppose there is a cluster of 1, 2. So, this is independent clusters and this is dependent clusters. Okay, this is independent cluster and this is a, a dependent cluster. So, if it is 1, 2, then obviously the structure will be beta 0 plus beta 1 x 1 okay, plus beta 2 x 2 plus u. Okay. So, similarly it will continue like that way. So, now uh, you know uh, this uh, uh, means it has a connection with this uh, you know the, this particular independent side. So, uh, we have two different setup one dependent structure independent structure. So, now in the single equation modeling. So, every times there will be a single dependent variables and one or several uh, uh, independent variables. But uh, uh, when will you go for estimation generally uh, there are many ways we have discussed the issues like the so far as estimation is concerned. So, we usually apply OLS technique if OLS technique will not provide a, a you know a, a efficient results then we have to apply GLS technique and WLS technique. So, what we have discussed uh, I mean say uh, up to today's discussion we have highlighted OLS technique, GLS technique and WLS techniques. Okay, so, but uh, out of these techniques OLS is the standard technique and uh, uh, everywhere first we like to use then if the problem is not uh, 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 in our boundary then we have to go for alternatives by the use of JLS technique and WLS technique. Uh, I mean specifically we have discussed that issue in the heteroscedacity problem and you know penal data model. So, now so in this particular structure so the uh, the classification is a dependent classification and independent classification dependent is every time so there will be one dependent and there will be one independent or several independent. So, if it is a 1 to 1 then it is a simple bivariate modeling, if 1 to 2, two then it is a trivariate modeling and 1 to many then it is called as a multivariate modeling. Multivariate modeling the two single equation systems. Okay. So, when there is a single equation system there may be several variables but to uh, uh, the variable classification is only one dependent variables and several independent variables. However, like this, okay. So what uh, what we will see here? So let's say we will take a case of multiple uh, multivariate uh, regression modeling. So y as a function of x1, x2 up to xk. Okay. So this is how the structure is all about. So now uh, what we have to do, uh, you know. Uh, this is multivariate model. So, if we regress this to this, this is one to one situation and that to call as a bivariate econometric modeling and if we uh, add to, to you know like this then it is trivariate equation modeling. Then if we to uh, club all these things it is called as a multivariate equation modeling. But uh, when we go for this uh, issue of single equation modeling, so we have different game plans in with respect to right hand side that is with respect to independent cluster. But uh, in the why? Uh, because there are several uh, items in this right hand side in fact we you have not con we have not introduced here uh, so that is a random term or a error term so that means when we will apply OLS then our standard assumption that the uh, this you know x1 and x2 x1 x2 up to xk and u though all are should be uh, you know in uh, you know they should not be correlated that means uh, if they are correlated then there is a multi into problem so that means a uh, covariance of x1 x2 uh, should be equal to 0, then covariance of x2, x3 should be equal to 0, then covariance of uh, x1, u should be equal to 0, covariance of x2 upon u should be equal to 0, covariance of x3 upon u should be equal to 0, then covariance of uh, x1, x3 should be equal to 0. Similarly, covariance of x1, xk should be equal to 0. So, like this and variance of variance of you know variance of u should be constant uh, everywhere. So, this is how we have to set the structure means it is a single equation modeling every time y is the dependent classification and others are independent classification and the within that system there are several things we have to discuss and that to right side of the pictures where there are multiple variables are there independent variables are there and u is a, 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 a random term that is a, a, a which represents the error uh, components means which is which is really not captured in the system. So, that we will take care of the u issue. Okay. Anyway, so this is the structure of uh, you know uh, uh, what we will call single equation system. So, uh, the variable classification is dependent classification and independent classification here y and x s. Okay. x s means it is a k, k in numbers k in numbers. Okay. But 
what is the interesting thing is here that so once you will go for say, uh, handling the single location modeling and then that times uh, one feature is very much uh, uh, accurate uh, means very very much essential that is one dependent variable with uh, one or several independent variable this is the most important features of single equation modeling and second feature of this sing, uh, single equation modeling is that it is the uh, it's uh, cause, uh, it's uh, means it is the question of cause and effect relationship so now this cause and effect relationship is nothing but you know uh, uh, it is purely unidirectional for instance the way we are discussing here so this is nothing but cause and effect relationship okay it is the cause and effect relationship so cause we will generally put it in excess and the effect will consider it in you know, y so the regression will be like this so y to x okay and no sorry x to y so this is the cause and effect relationship so now so this particular cause that means the reverse causality does not allow here so okay so reverse causality that is this uh, uh, speciality of uh, uh, single equation modeling or you can say that it may be limitation of the single equation modeling so that means it is one one way uh, causality so that means it is the independent to dependent clusters while dependent to co independent cluster is not allowed so that is the structure of single equation modeling so that means it is the x which can causes y but vice versa is not true even maybe there's but our standard assumption is that there is no such relations reverse causality so that means in the single equation system so one dependent variable several uh, independent variables and the causality is very much unidirectional so that means it is the independent variables which usually or which can uh, uh, explain or which can cause the uh, uh, dependent variables okay so that means dependent variable is the effect side and the causes are you know uh, independent variables okay so cause and effect uh, relationship so that to that to it is unidirectional in nature that to it is unidirectional in natures unidirectional unidirectional or sometimes it is called as a one way causality it is otherwise called as a one way causality it is uh, otherwise called as either, either it is unidirectional causality or sometimes it is called as a, a, a one way causality okay so now with this particular uh, setup so we will move to uh, simultaneous equation modeling so that means in this particular systems there is only single equations and where uh, 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 independent variable and error term is uh, influencing the dependent variable so that means y as a function of uh, several uh, excess and error terms okay but uh, reverse is not uh, allowed here so this is the system of you can say single equation modeling so now we will come down to uh, uh, you know simultaneous equation modeling so now how simultaneous equation modeling uh, simultaneous equation modeling can be uh, you can say uh, generated so simultaneous equation modeling simultaneous equation modeling okay so now in the simultaneous equation systems it is called as a uh, the system where there is a joint dependence of variables okay so here so there is no one uh, means on there is a not a concept of you know one dependent variable and several independent variables in this particular simultaneous equations instead of using independent cluster and dependent cluster we usually a represent the endogenous cluster and exogenous clusters okay so that means in this systems so the structure will be like this y1 y2 y3 okay y4 then similarly x1 x2 x3 x4 like this way so we will uh, means uh, our structure is like this so it is y1 influence y2 y1 x3 then similarly that means it may be causes like this way so x3 may be causes y2 y2 may be causes x3 so like this there is several uh, several that is how it is jointly dependence and interdependence among the variables so that means here in this particular simultaneous equation uh, system so there are uh, uh, more more x and more y okay more y so that means uh, it is excess and uh, uh, the cluster means it is the uh, game between 
a, a multiple x and multiple y. Okay, so that means it is a, it is not one 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 or one many case. It is a many many case uh, all together. Okay, so that means that is the speciality of simultaneous equation system. So simult in the simultaneous equation system, so there are several dependent variable and several independent variables. So the dependent variable is otherwise called as endogenous clusters, and independent variable otherwise called as a, a exogenous clusters. So that means uh, here. So, there is a two groups of data. So, one is endo, uh, endogenous, endogenous clusters and this is called as a dependent variables, dependent variables and then there is a exogenous, exogenous clusters that is independent variables clusters. It is independent, independent variable clusters. Okay? And they are very much interdependent. So, okay, so these two are uh, interdependent, interdependent, these two are very much inter dependent interdependent or you can say jointly dependent jointly dependent jointly dependent okay so uh, now uh, the, so in one case it is uh, means in the single equation modeling so it is only one y with several axes and here there are multiple y with several axes okay so now uh, 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 this is somewhat little bit uh, simple and this one is somewhat little I means it is somewhat complex in nature for because there is lots of cross casualty is there. So, that means it is not a question of one way casualty, it is a rather two way casualty. Okay. So, that means there is a bidirectional causality between the two. That means we are assuming that for instance, if y 1 causes y 2, then there may be chance y 2 may be causes y 1. So, this is how it is called as a two way casualty, which is not uh, possible in the case of uh, uh, you know single equation modeling. In the single equation modeling, it is only y1 causes uh, y2, uh, while y2 does not cause y1. So this is how the single equation structure, and in the simultaneous equation structure, it is the reverse causality allowed. So that means it is uh, it is the system where we, ca we uh, where our objective is to study two way interactions or two way causality. That is you know. Uh, because it is a, a, there is a question of joint dependence of variables, so uh, there is a possibility of two-way causality or bidirectional causality. Okay, so it is a two-way intersection, uh, two-way interactions or simultaneous uh, uh, interactions. Okay, so either it is called as a two-way interactions, two-way uh, interaction, interactions, uh, interactions, or it is called as a simultaneous, simultaneous interactions, simultaneous interactions okay so this is how we have to change the classification depend uh, means here uh, in this particular uh, uh, structures the classification of dependent and independent is very uh, confusing or you can say it is a doubtful because it is very difficult to describe this situation uh, because it is a joint dependence of variables in the system so it is a very very difficult to say that this is purely independent variable and that is purely dependent variable. Of course, in a particular system we can classify still uh, you know it is very difficult to describe this situation in the case of simultaneous equation system because every equation has a error term and every equation depends upon other equations. So, that is why the system itself is a very complex process. Okay. So, now with this particular setup, so we have to we, we have to describe the simultaneous equation modeling. So, now what is the structure of simultaneous equation modeling? So, now simultaneous equation modeling. So, uh, first of all, uh, first of all, before we go for this uh, typical issues about time, uh, simultaneous equation modeling. So, I like to highlight base, uh, special features of simultaneous equation modeling, then we will go for its problem aspect or estimation aspect. In the structural equation modeling, so first condition is it, 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 it is more than one equation, okay. It is more than more than one equation. Okay, so it is obviously more than one equation. Okay, and second, uh, uh, you know, uh, the variables are there is a, there is a, uh, there is a multiple x, multiple dependent variables, and multiple multiple indep multiple independent variables. Okay. So, now the dependent variable cluster is called as a endogenous variable, uh, uh, it is called as a endogenous variables. This is called as a exogenous variable, okay. exogenous variables, okay. variables. Uh, it is called as a exogenous variables. And you know, 
this endogenous variables it is jointly dependent it is jointly dependent okay so this is this is a you know non stochastic in nature this is non stochastic in nature stochastic non stochastic in nature and pre it is otherwise called as a predetermined variables predetermined predetermined variables predetermined variables okay uh, in the simultaneous equation one cannot estimate the parameter of single equation that means uh, in the simultaneous simultaneous equation there are several equations so uh, uh, actually what is uh, the objective of econometric modeling objective of uh, there may be several objectives but one of interesting objective is to estimate the value of parameters in a uh, in a particular equation so whether it is a single equation system and simultaneous equation system when your objective is to estimate the parameter typically for a single equation model it is not a problem so we have to every time you have to go by systematic way then you have to test uh, retest then finally you will get to a uh, come to a conclusion that or come to a uh, point where you will get the best fitted model but in the case of simultaneous equation modeling there are several equations okay so there are parameters involvement in each and every equation okay so to estimate the parameters of a single equation is somewhat very difficult in the case of simultaneous equation system until unless you know the information about the other equation uh, in the system okay so uh, in the third case simultaneous equation the estimation problem is there so okay this is nothing but estimation problem estimation problem in the one cannot estimate the parameter of a single equation without taking into account the information provided by other equation in the system so this is how the structure about the simultaneous equation modeling in the simultaneous equation modeling the parameter of one equation cannot be properly estimated yes it can be estimated but that esti estimated value cannot go with the a blue properties so uh, it is very difficult to estimate the uh, parameters which are uh, satisfying with the blue theorem uh, until unless you know the uh, information provided by other equation in the system so uh, so there are two problem associated with this particular structural equation modeling one is estimation problem and second is the identification problem so until unless you identify the proper uh, structure then obviously you cannot go for estimation so obviously estimation depends upon identification so until unless you know the Id proper identification then you cannot go for its estimation so that uh, again when there is estimation so which particular technique you have to apply because only well as uh, in the simultaneous equation system cannot be feasible or cannot be fit so there are several methods which we usually handle to solve the simultaneous equation system we will discuss in details uh, 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 subsequently so in the meantime this is estimation problem for so that means uh, uh, why it is estimation problem because uh, ols cannot be applied to this simultaneous equation modeling directly because uh, it uh, uh, there are uh, several problems associated with this ols technique to the simultaneous equation system so one one of the major problem associated with the, the introduction of ols is the uh, the estimated parameters will not be uh, as per the blue theorem so that means the parameters are uh, most probably uh, it cannot be unbiased uh, and uh, it cannot be efficient or you can say it cannot be consistent so to uh, so there when there is a simultaneous equation modeling then the application of ols uh, the use of ols is very uh, limited so uh, because it will give you some biased result and you know inconsistent results so to get consistent result and unbiased uh, results then obviously so we, we have to go for different estimation technique uh, to uh, simplify the simultaneous uh, simultaneous equation uh, setup okay so this these are the conditions through which simultaneous equation modeling uh, usually operates so let me take a example simple example then i will highlight the structure of simultaneous equation modeling so uh, so i will take two uh, equations here y1 equal to uh, alpha 1 0 plus alpha 1 1 x1 plus beta 1 2 y y2 plus u1 okay so this is one equation so when there is a single equation models uh, then obviously this equation is there so the, uh, when we will go for single equation modeling single equation modeling then our objective is to grow, get alpha 1 0 alpha 1 1 and beta 1 beta 1 2 because 
uh, here say, once you will go for single equation modeling then x1 and y2 is treated as a independent variable and y1 treated as a dependent variable ok. So, obviously, this is u1 also. So, these are in the independent cluster and these are all dependent cluster and this since it is a single equation modeling then obviously, you can apply the OLS and get the estimated parameters like you know alpha 10, alpha 11 and beta 12 ok. So, this is how uh, uh, after getting uh, applying the OLS you will get all these results, but uh, when we will go for simultaneous equation modeling then system will be like this. So, y 1 equal to alpha 10 plus alpha 11 x 1 uh, plus al beta 1 to y 2 plus u 1 ok. So, this is uh, first equation and second equation, uh, second equation is uh, y 2 equal to alpha 2 0 plus beta 2 1 y 1 plus uh, uh, you know uh, I will put uh, uh, rather uh, yes alpha this is better put alpha alpha 2 1 x 1 plus u 2 ok. So, this is this is a this is simultaneous equation system simultaneous simultaneous equation system ok. Uh, you know so suppose the simultaneous equation system is concerned. So, the system will be consistent mathematically the system will be consistent if number of equations is exactly equal to number of variables otherwise the system will be inconsistent. Uh, similarly, this this can be also applied here in the case of statistical modeling. So, now before we go in, uh, that is how there is a need of proper identification whether this system uh, so far as identification is concerned. So, there are uh, three different steps of identification uh, one is called as exactly identify then over identify and under identify that means once you have identification problem then obviously uh, that should be in a simultaneous equation system and each equation has to be identified. So, uh, uh, so when you will go for identifying a, a particular equation then and there are three two different ways you have to classify either the equation is identify or not identify. If it is identify then obviously whether it is exactly identify or it is over identify. Generally exact identification is the best way, but uh, still we have to say see what is the shape of the exact I mean say identification. Then we have to until unless you know the identification situation you are not sure which particular technique has to be applied. Uh, apply to solve this uh, particular systems ok. So, now in this particular setup, so there are uh, several variables. So, y 1 and y 2 are mutually interdependent. So, that is how it is called as a endogenous variable. So, these are all uh, y 1 y 2 are mutually dependent variables because y 1 depends upon y 2 and even uh, y 2 depends upon also y 1 ok. So, this is how they are mutually interdependent to each other. So, uh, so, y 1, y 2 are endogenous variables and x 1 is only one variable. So, that is exogenous variables, this is exogenous variables. So, so in other words in the by as per the single equation system. So, this is called as independent variable, this, these are called as a dependent variables ok. So, u 1 and u 2 are non stochastic uh, sorry stochastic disturbance term, this are stochastic disturbance term. stochastic disturbance terms and y 1 oh, oh, and these are called as a stochastic variables, these are called as a stochastic variables, these are called as a stochastic variables. So, that means, this is a, sing, uh, a simultaneous equation system where there are uh, two equations uh, and uh, the number of equations that means, number of equations are two, number of endogenous variables are 2, number of exogenous variables are 1 and 2 error terms that is u 1 and u 2 that is the complete description of this particular model. So, this that is this is how we have to represent various system uh, simultaneous equation modeling because overall in the broad level. So, you will find the uh, everywhere there will be model and that model uh, uh, cannot be single equation that to several equations or multiple equations. So, now our objective is to know how they are interdependent to each other and how quickly we have to get the estimated parameters and you will get the better fitted models so that can be used for forecasting and policy use. So, better fitted model means it is not single equation for every equation has to be identified properly and that too you have to get the estimated parameters which should be very reliable, very consistent, very feasible and should be totally unbiased ok. This is the motto of the simultaneous equation modeling. So, with this setup, so I will give you 
some examples here. So, okay, so this is uh, this is one way example. So I will put another equation. So this this.